So just out of curiosity, I uh, replaced my shocks and I've got this old shock here. As you can see, it's not really doing much. I'm pretty sure it leaked out a hydraulic fluid. And uh, so what I'm going to do just for just to see what's in it, I'm just going to cut into it with this bandsaw right here. So I've got it in the vise and uh, we'll see how it goes. Here's some uh, milky looking hydraulic fluid leaking out. Now we got it cut off the first shell. Here's what it looks like at the end. It's got this little, I don't know, almost a valve. It's spring loaded. When I push it, it seems to let some hydraulic fluid out. I'll try and uh, push from the other side. It's hard with only one hand. Ooh. Ooh, that, I think that got on the GoPro. Not sure how well you guys can see, but I got this next layer off, and you can see what looks like the underside of the piston head there, and it's got uh, four holes. And I notice if I push down, it squeezes some hydraulic fluid out the other end. I'm going to try and get this out now. Hit it with a hammer at the end to get it out of this uh, final shell right here. But here's the piston head. So we got uh, basically a couple holes in this bottom, almost washer looking thing, but it's not a washer. And we've got spring, I guess, to prevent it from hitting the bottom. We've got a rubber gasket. And then we've got the real piston head. So it's got these holes on the side, I guess, to release the hydraulic fluid. And then these holes at the top is sort of the intake. And uh, it looks like there's like a little relief on the side to also allow someone to pass by, maybe. And yeah, that's it. It's really a pretty simple device to cushion your uh, impacts. This is how a shock works. Pretty cool.